All right, friends. So hopefully you have found all these letters. We needed two A's, two O's, two S's, two H's, two D's, and two T's. I'm going to move my letters down to the bottom. And like I said, we're going to change one of these D's and we're going to make it a P. That's how we're going to be using it today. So in just a second, we're going to make the words sad and sat. If you're listening closely, these two words sound a lot alike. So that means that they're going to have letters that are the same. Do you hear the part that sounds the same in sad and sat? Say them with me. Sad, sat. Let's get out the letters for sad. What do we hear? S-a-d. S-a-d. Sad. 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 Now, think about what letters we will need to make the word sat. Sat. Can you make the word sat under the word sad? Remember, some of our letters are going to stay the same because I hear the sa part. So I need the letter S and A, sat. What do I need at the end? T. Do you see how the sa part is the same in both words? Sad, sat. Excellent. All right, let's try it with one more set. So put your letters back down. This time we're going to spell the words hot and hop. Hot, hop. Those words sound a lot alike, so we know that the letters are going to be similar in both words. Do you hear the part that's the same? Hot, hop. Say it with me. Hot, hop. Think about what we heard. Let's get the letters out for hot, hot, hot. Uh. Hot. Hot. Now we want to say the sound, the word hop. What part is the same? Hop. Here is hot. We want it to say hop. What will stay the same? H. O. Very good. Hop. What will change? P. Hot, hop. We can hear the parts that's this, that are the same. Ha, ha, t, and p. Hot, hop. Excellent job listening and noticing when parts of the word are the same. We can notice when we are reading parts of the word that are the same too. 